like you threw that last play. There's a lot of guys just playing volleyball around the net there. Today. Yeah, the shot went up. I tried to get the rebound. Kyle kept it alive and it just came to my hand and I had to put it in. Kyle shot a two foot air ball. Yeah. <laughs> just came flow right into my hands. I just, I just put it in. How much did this, you guys need this game, you know, coming off the rough trip? Um, it was it was important us to come home and, and um, establish our, um, our home court. You know what I'm saying it's our house. You don't want nobody to beat us here. Richmond's a good team. We were ready. We had a good week of practice. I'm saying everybody was here. Everybody practiced for like for once. Like was, we haven't had a full team in a couple of weeks, so it was good. That everybody practiced this week and everybody gave their heart and soul today. Whether they scored 20, whether they got a, a screen, whatever it was, everybody gave it everything. That's why it makes this win more special. Yeah. You know, both teams are having some trouble on the foul line down the street, down the stretch, but you, you know, the last four, you nailed them. Yeah. Um, coach emphasizes a lot that we shoot free throws, and, um, and he tells us not to talk while we're shooting free throws, act like it's game-like, and that's what we did this week. And, uh, we needed to knock down our free throws, free throws during the stretch, and um, that's what messed us up down in Cleveland, mm -hmm. and um, little other mistakes, and we had to pick it up. So. That's, it. That's a good team. That's an NCAA team from a year ago. They're picked. They have the Player of the Year in their conference on that team. Talk about what this win does for just the psyche of this team. Um, it does a lot. It builds our confidence back up. Um, we know we have a good team, but I mean, it just comes down to all us sticking together and gelling together. Mm -hmm. And um, that's it, really. I mean, we played a tough team, like you said, Player of the Year in their conference. And like Aleo said, we played with our heart and soul today. Mike, you guys are down six with like about 45 seconds left in regulation. Um, what happened there? Can you take the uh, basically, I would just like to say conditioning is what basically what got us through the game. Um, I was working hard every day in practice, preparing for the games, uh, like scouting. Uh, I think that pretty much uh, conditioning got us through the game. That's, you know, uh, Running up and down the floor on every side, like with four minutes left to go in the game. I think uh, our bench pushed us to play harder, even though I was fouled out the game. You know, I still push my, I still push my teammates to play hard, and I think Scott Machado did a great job tonight. Jamel hit the uh, the three pointer in the regulation for the overtime. I haven't heard this place this loud in, in a long time. Uh, it seems like they were in it from the start here. Today. Yeah, we love our fans. Like a little said, we can't lose at home. Like mm -hmm. I mean, it would be a disappointment to us. Mm -hmm. So I mean, we love our fans, and I mean that was big time, and we never heard the stadium like this in a while. I mean, a little bit longer than me, so he knows. But I mean, since I've been here, it's been that's been the loudest I've ever heard. At the end of regulation, you guys. You know, they looked like they were in charge there. Then at the end of the first overtime, you guys had a couple of chances at the end. Jamel missed one, and then I think Kyle missed one at the buzzer. How hard is it to kind of pick, keep picking yourself up and go on? Um, we work on that in practice. So we work on, on, like, we're up, and the other team comes in and takes the lead. And we work on that, and we learned from Cleveland. And the older guys, I'm saying, been through it, and we lost a lot of close games. We won a lot of close games. And we just tried to stick together. And the crowd was, was unbelievable. They were they were in it from the start. Heart and soul was in it, and they were they were getting at the refs and everything. Everybody was in it, so it was just they pushed us. Everybody pushed us, and it's like once we got into overtime, we just knew like we couldn't lose it. Like we hit that shot, and after that, like we have to get. to get us on the road. I mean, we hope that we only take steps forward from here, but um, we're kind of glad that we got the three L's in Cleveland instead of getting it tonight and trying to not get it towards the future. So we're just trying to build up and keep learning and gelling together. You can't help but notice you two guys in particular pumping up the crowd, feeding off the crowd. I mean, can you can you talk about what the atmosphere is like? But, yeah, uh, it's, um, our, our atmosphere is actually great. I think our students are actually pushes us, you know, play by play to, to actually give us motivation to go out there and just give it our all. And I think that's exactly what the whole team did tonight. What are you thinking when you get ready for that jump ball at the first overtime of the place going nuts? I looked at all you guys going, kind of just looking time. around. When every time. When every time. <laughs> Scott, can you talk about that uh, three by JJ at the end there? He, he sort of, it almost looked like it was a no look shot. Because he, I think it was you he looked at after you handed it off. Yeah, um, he, like, he loves to hit big shots like that. And um, it was a big shot. And it took a lot of heart to take it. So, I mean, he, he took it upon his own hands and he just took the shot. Um, he works. He shoots shots like that. If you don't like, I wouldn't say he practices it, but he shoots like, shots like that in practice, like before we start practice playing around. But I mean, he was used to it, so he knew how to knock it down. You guys down, went the last two minutes without Mike after you fouled out. You were down a point at the time. Did you guys talk about anything in particular? I'm saying Mike, Mike carried us most of the game, saying inside, and then and once he fouled out, 
guys had to step up. Saying that's, that's what it was. Like we we we're a very deep team. We haven't showed it that much because like certain five been juggling, so we just keep keep going with the flow. But we're very deep team, and, and and we know we have other guys that can step up. And everybody did something to step up. Whatever like whatever it was, it's a big shot by Mel, free throws, blocks, everything. Everybody did something. So like we once once Mike came out, we just knew somebody had to pick it up. That's it. One of the biggest putbacks of your career there at the end. Yeah, yeah, one of them. I um. It's Kyle shot. I thought I thought I get the put back, and I, and I and I watched the ball go, watched the ball hit the rim, and I was upset about that. So when that shot went up, I, was, I wanted to make sure I was close to the rim, see if I could get it, and fell in my hand. So. Scott, was it like um, playing this offense with the coaching? Like it? Yeah, I like it. I mean, I I mean, I mean, coaches emphasizing the offense more and more every day, and um, as we just keep learning it, and we keep. Trusting in it, and we just keep doing it, it only can get better. And, um, I mean, we like it.